post the storm just up the street from us. And uh, our car, which fortunately we got under cover. See the tree? That's our carport it's leaning on, and that's our uh, roof it's also leaning on, and uh, power lines that it brought down with us. Um, still some remaining rubbish from the flood. And there's just all oh, the crap, there's an extraordinary amount of trees down everywhere. I'll just go at the back. This was the result of about 40 seconds of wind. Came up out of nowhere. We only just got ourselves back inside in time. Fortunately we had a, a warning from a friend who phoned us to say it was coming. Okay. Here's the park behind us. Remains of some trees that have been turned into fucking kindling, for God's sake. Uh, uh, yep, jacaranda at the back of our place has gone down. That's our shed there, which miraculously is still standing. Okay, bunch more trees down behind the play kids' playground there. And, oh God, more trees down in the back of the place there. Oh. Yep, some big ones went down there. Various branches down in our neighbour's yard. Apparently the road is completely blocked on both exits with big tree chunks down over it. I don't know how the fuck Russell got out. Here's our place which kind of miraculously is largely undamaged except for the carport which might have to be replaced but guess what we do have storm insurance there's the other side of a jacaranda tree down in our backyard that's going to have to be taken care of and there's a garden shed more or less intact and there's our there's our granny flat also intact miraculously and the rear side of our house does end with that's